guys, it's Lucas Jones here, and today we've got another video. It's been a while, and we have a bit of a backlog, but we're going to be pushing them out, we, right? We've got three on the books. Yeah. Well, this is Are you not, one just, of just, you're, just, you're just done introducing me? Well, you're in every video. I assume they already know your name. But if you really want to, this is Colin. Hello. My special guest. That's right. I'm the dad who stepped up. That's what Lucas says. On Father's Day. On, on Father's Day. I don't know what that means. It means you're my stepfather step, is what it means. Step up father. South Korea. Nice. Are there going to be, um, I don't know. Claire Love Cat snacks. What? You know, Claire the, with the cat. Hello Kitty? No. She's a YouTuber that does all the oh, okay. kind of cats. I don't know if it's going to be a lot I can eat here. Oh, it's double pie. No, it's going to have jelly. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll just get started on this. Do you know anything about South Korea? What's the capital? Uh, Seoul. There's a seal. It's Seoul. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent knowledge. Is it in Africa or South America? It's in Asia. That's right. All right. Every person in South Korea shares the same birthday, the chopsticks, like, rice, Korea, or yeah. wedding anniversary. I don't know. Shares the same birthday? Wedding yeah. anniversary? Birthday. What do you think? Wedding Same anniversary. A or D? A, yes. That's gotta be one crazy birthday party though. It's not as if everyone was born on the same day. Every person simply gains one year on New Year's Day. Not only that, but every baby is considered to be one year old when they're born. This can cause a bit of confusion for people like BTS's Kim Tae Young, who was born on December 30th. After just two days, he was two. That's some serious time travel. On the South Korean holiday known as Black Day, couples share rice cakes, single people eat noodles, children buy lollipops for their parents, or the whole family goes out for hot pot. I like all these options. What was the first one? Couples share rice cakes. I mean, sure, I'll do that one. All, all of the above? I don't know. Maybe it's the, it's, I don't know. Maybe it's, B. wait. Wait, go ahead. I don't know. Well, you already told me. Single people eat noodles. Single Can't people eat noodles. Can't find a date, you can slip your raise away. On February 14th, Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day, Korean women give their crushes gifts. Then, on March 14th, or White Day, the crushes traditionally return the favor. But what about all the... The single people, they get April 14th, known as Black Day. Wow. Those who didn't receive a gift on either holiday dress in all black, get together, and drown their sorrows in a bowl of jun jun nian? Noodles? The black bean sauce smothered. The black bean sauce smothered noodles are considered the ultimate comfort food. That sounds who like a... love when you have noodles? That sounds like a holiday that Big Noodle is, like, invented. Wow. You know? Big noodle. Big, noodle. big noodle. big noodle. Corporate Big Noodle invented that holiday. Which cereal flavor is unique to South Korea? Kimchi Cheerios, Persimmon Fruit Loops, Yuzu Corn Flakes, or Green Onion Checks? Yuzu Corn Flakes. Did you see the answer? No, that's just my guess. Oh, I thought you might have some knowledge. Uh, the yeah. Checks one. Was it Checks? Were there a Checks one? Green Onion Checks? Yeah. I'm gonna go with Kimchi Cheerios. D. Green onion checks. Yes. How did they end up with such a unique flavor? Back in 2004, Kellogg's released a marketing campaign where customers voted on the new Chex cereal flavor. Mm. Since the choices were chocolate or green onion, they wrongly assumed that chocolate would win in a landslide. Unfortunately for Kellogg's, the internet is full of trolls who swarmed the poll, making green onion the landslide winner. Oh no. Citing security reasons, they instead declared chocolate the winner to the po disappointment of many. That's why 16 years later, Kellogg's finally delivered on their promise, and South Koreans everywhere can enjoy this unique flavor. Green onion Chex. I mean, that's like Chex Mix could, you know, you can make yes. Chex Mix with like onion powder. Yeah. Okay? Which is considered good luck in Wh which is Korea? Are? Which? Which is considered... Which? It's not... I wouldn't say quite. I wouldn't say when. I would say which you could. is considered good luck How would you in say... Korea? Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Family, family Guy reference there. Cool Whip. It's famous. 
famous. Which is considered good luck in Korea? And number four, you should all know that's wrong, dreaming of pigs, giving shoes to a loved one, whistling at night. Dr dreaming of pigs. Whistling at night. You're right, Colin. It's Yes. Pigs are great and all, but are they good luck? They are in South Korea. I feel in like I past, knew that. Pork was an expensive ingredient eaten only by the very wealthy. Even though it's widely available now, the symbolism stuck around, and pigs are still considered a symbol of wealth and luck to this day. Yeah. Lucky pigs. Lucky, wealthy pigs. In order to practice massage, you must be blind, deaf, rich, or foreign. Deaf. Fun. Uh, I'm going to go with foreign. A, blind. You have to see it to believe it or not. Thanks to a law established in 1912, only the visually impaired are allowed to obtain professional certification to practice massage. The reason was to ensure that the visually impaired have access to a rewarding occupation and a means to a living. While the regulation has been challenged in the past, the law still stands today, and over 7,000 visually impaired South Koreans now work in the massage industry. Wow. That's interesting. Never also, they can't see all the naked people. That's right. It's like if no, you're no fat shaming. If you're not self-conscious, like, you're not go to the blind, <clears throat> the blind massage. Person. What happens when high schoolers wow. take their final exam? Why are you not letting us just have a discussion? Because we're talking about, like, I don't need, this is not the type of time to talk about that. What wow. happens when high schoolers take when their can final we, exam? When, when can we talk about it? After the video. Okay. The stock market opens late. Wow. Planes don't take off or land. I know the answer to this one. Military training stops or companies open late. I don't. What was the question? What happens when high schoolers take their exam? Um, no planes. Sure. Right, because of the noise, they try and avoid the noise. Nope. Is that not it? All of the above. Oh. Wow. For many South Koreans, the Sun Sun Yang exam is the most important test they'll take in their lives. Yeah. Similar to the SAT in the U.S., Sun Yang st scores are an important part of the college admission. Don't process. worry about that pregnancy test, Miss South Korea. You know what I mean? The test is such a big deal that the entire country does, does its part to ensure the best possible environment for students to concentrate. Wow, nice. During the annual Space Out competition, contestants A, create rockets, B, try to jump out of the atmosphere. What the hell does that mean? C, do nothing, or D, don't blink. I'm going to say do nothing. I'm going to go with don't blink. Yeah. Like just zone out. It is C, do nothing. True to its name, the Space Out competition is a contest to decide who is the best at doing nothing. For 90 long and agonizing miss, mi minutes, for 90 long and agonizing minutes, participants sit in a forest on Jeju Island and try to be as zoned out as possible. And if you think you can just sleep through it, you're wrong, because that's grounds for disqualification. So how do you win? That's for the audience to decide. Onlookers choose the top 10 contest contestants, and out of those 10, the one with the most steady heart rate wins. Sound exciting? You're disqualified. Ah, uh, no, get it. I see what they did there. South Korea is home to the world's fastest cats. cats, because, geez, the world, zooming. They're home to the world's ca fastest cats? No. Oh. South Korea is home to the world's fastest, what? Trains, runner, runners, birds, or internet speed? Internet speed. Yeah, internet. That's right. While we're surfing yeah. the web, South Excuse Koreans me. are speedboating. The internet speeds are the fastest in the world. Four times faster than the global average. It's all Not that big legends. Free Wi-Fi is <laughs> accessible, resulting in a whopping 92.6%. 92.6% of the population actively browsing the net. Nice. That's it. Nice. Okay, right, let's get started. Let's do it! On the choco pie. Choco pie. pie. Wheat, milk, egg, peanut, soy, almond. It's just like a Wait, moon pie. It looks like a moon pie, yeah. It is a moon pie. Oh my god. Uh oh, whoops. That's okay. Hold on, yeah, put it down. I gotta see if it has gel in it. Oh, yeah. Thank Beef you. tallow? Oh no. What really? is that? Why would someone have that? tallow in it? This one? Yeah. Wow. Why would they put beef tallow in it? Also gelatin. Wow. All right. Well, I can't eat this. Oh man. That makes me so sad. I love, I would, I, you know what? It's true in the United States as well. 
I can't eat the choco moon pies in the United States either. Because oh. there's gelatin in the marshmallow. Oh, good. Yeah. Don't rub it in my face, man. I'm going to tell you. Right, that's fine. The inner layer isn't just marshmallow, though. It's got some other thing. Is it mm -hmm. a fruit? Like apricot, maybe? Burnt caramel. Oh. Burnt caramel, sure. I think it tastes like apricot. Like with some boba. That's not bad. Uh, chicken flavored corn puffs. It doesn't seem to have any chicken in it. Huh. There's, I mean, it doesn't list any chicken. So I think I'm good. All right. Which is, which is weird, but there it is, you know? So there's It's not meat, uncommon. There's meat Whoa. in the chocolate, but not in the chicken. There's meat in the moon pies, but not in the spicy chicken flavored corn puffs. Cool. That is strange. I'll I feel like that. a lot of, um... You know, a lot of meaty or otherwise flavored stuff actually doesn't have meat in it, especially in like chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true though. Okay, weird. They're like, it's like caramel Favorite. chicken. What? It's pretty weird. They're like. Wait, do yeah. you smell them? Stay still. Yeah. Oh, it smells look like. At that. Um, okay. Got it, it smells like uh, ramen spice. Yeah, it smells pack. like. Oh, yeah. Like the top ramen, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cup of noodles. All right. All right, one, two, three. I like that. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. It's sweet. It's a little sweet. A little sweet, a little spicy. I have no idea why it says hot on the package because they're not spicy. There's, there's definitely a little, little spicy. There's a little spicy. For sure. But they're very sweet. I like that. They kind of have a corn pops they're, taste. That's their corn pops. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean like the cereal specifically. Right. Corn pops. Yeah. They're okay. All right. Mascarpone. Mascarpone filled shortbread cookies. Light, crispy cookies with a subtle cream filling. Cook the ass. Yep. Cook the ass? Cock the ass. That's what it says. Yeah, it's French. It's, it's the French. Yep. Oh, they're individually wrapped. Uh, so close. Mom, mom did a really good catch earlier. I did. Um, I'm going to show this out. Although, on a really good throw from me. Colin, it was a good catch. I don't know about the wow. Right. What do we got it. here? There's no filling. It's very subtle. It's just crunch. That's disappointing. So they're crackers with like a wave shape. Yeah. I mean, they're like, it's like a cookie. Yeah. You probably did this in coffee and it'd be good. I think they're fine. They're yeah. just very, it's very, it's a very um, subtle sweetness. Mm -hmm. They're very smooth. I don't know, they're fine. It's a butter cookie almost. Yeah. yeah, it's a shortbread. Yeah, it's good. I like it. They're fine. Very, very subtle flavoring. It's not the up in your face chicken flavor, or that's not even chicken y flavor, but you know. Sweet and sour grape flavored chews. Mm hmm. Also have jello, man. It's a bad yums for you. It is a bad yums for me. That's all right. You know, sometimes they're winners, sometimes they're losers. Yeah. Okay, try that one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring it up to you. Man, these ones are the only. Th those have shrimp, and then the last one have jello. Aww. You should have been in this one, babe. I you guess so. You could like, you know, I'm gonna have another you cookie. Know. I'd yeah, drown my sorrows. Cookie. What is Molly doing? One of our cast is like just no. laying here. Here. Let's... Can't see her, but she's watching the whole thing. Like, what are you guys doing? Oh, I would have helped. There we go. Well, you're busy eating a cookie. I'm yeah. too busy drowning my sorrows in cookies. Okay, now you can help him with that other one. No, I got it. Okay. Well. So what is this? Is some kind of grape chew? Yeah. It just looks like a now and later yeah, Yeah. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. Is it hard? It's more like a now and later than a Starburst. It's harder than a Starburst. Mm. And it's got the, um, what do they call it? Baked grape. It's okay. Baked grape. It's got the kind of grape, baked grape flavor you find in like grape juice. Mm. 
not like a grape skittle. Oh, like a grape soda? Yeah. It tastes like, what are those things called? Wine? Mm-hmm. No. Grapes? Uh, Pop Rocks? No. Runs? It's like another chewy type candy. Mm -hmm. um, I can't think of it, so I don't even mean. Jujus? Jujubees? It's like that standard grape flavor. Uh, what are the other names for Jujubees? Whatever. Whatever. Mike and I They're matter. fine. They're chewy. Yeah. Okay. Is this a shrimp chip? Shrimp chips. Also with shrimp. Now with more shrimp. What? Doesn't smell. <clears throat> wow. I've, I have definitely loved shrimp chips in the past. We okay. got those shrimp chips from Hawaii. And they were Maybe Santa oh, would like a shrimp Yeah, chip. it's these. It's just like these. You gotta, you gotta grab one, Lucas. Oh man, they're gonna be good. Let's see. Maybe shrimp. These look like pork. Don't, ones. don't Here. judge it till you try hand, it. Hand me, hand me, hand me a piece of one. I'm, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if Sammy wants a piece. Oh. Ready? Sammy. Three, two, one. You wanna try? Sammy can have my piece. Oh. These are, these are shrimpier. Ugh. He's not oh. sure. I don't He's, like seafood. Are you not going for it? It's a little bit of a stronger shrimp flavor, for sure. We'll see if he eats it. Yep, he's going for it. Let's see, Molly might like it too. Oh, she's into it. The cats I mean, the are cats at least like licking seafood. it. I don't think that, yeah, they're not doing it. Okay, let's move okay. on. Let's move on yeah. with our lives here, everybody. Sammy, Peach? So this Sammy one, decided against the This one chip. All right. also has gelatin, sadly. So. Yum's box still for people. But this is like peach flavored gummies. Peach flavored gummies, literally what it says on the in our pamphlet. They're like Thank cold. You. Oh, for some reason. They're cold. Oh, they look like little butts. Like um, like they're the hearts. emoji. Look, they're like hearts. the emo emoji. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little butt. It right. looks a little red spot. It's been spanked. They've been naughty peach gummies. Very there, peachy. Is there a gummy, is there a, a, a burst of delicious flavor in the middle? They're very peachy, they're good. All right, well. I like it. I like okay. those. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely having another one. Wow, this guy. All right, well, that's it. I feel like that was a bit short, but. It was pretty short. Um, You're gonna have a very limited rose and thorn list. Well, my, okay, should we, are we gonna do our roses and thorns? Yeah. Roses and thorns. Yeah. We're already there. Yeah. We also didn't get a bag. That's fine. Oh. Okay. All right. So uh, my thorn, I don't. Ha I'm not gonna have a thorn. I guess all the stuff I couldn't eat in one sense. Yeah. Um, thorn in your side. You know what? Yum's oh. box. This 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 month, the Yum's food selector person or people is my thorn because they picked all this stuff that's not even remotely vegetarian friendly. Beef tallow and a choco pie. Come on, yeah. Yum's people. I hear you. Uh, is it my turn? All right. I it's a tie between the shortbread cookie that was really this subtle is your, and tasty. This is your. Thorn? Oh no! I'm sorry. No, no, no. That was my rose. Sorry. Thorn is. Um, it's been a while, everybody. Good Molly. Uh, you know, I want to love the shrimp chips because I love that type of cracker, but they're a little too shrimpy. Right. It's too too seafoody for me. Okay. Lucas, thorn, frozen thorn and Gildenkrantz. Um, definitely my thorn was glad of me that... <laughs> Go ahead, keep on. The shrimp chips. Mm -hmm. Shrimp chips, okay. I'm not a fan of seafood, and that just tasted like the smell of bait. Yeah. They do have a, a fish uniquely world. fishy smell, for sure. Um, my thorn is definitely the cock de ass. Your ro yeah. rose? Um, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, your rose. Man, see, now who's, who's, who's rusty on their... Lucas Yum's protocol. Um, yeah, the uh, those these these cookies were actually pretty tasty. Even if even if I had been able to try everything, I suspect that still would have been my. Um, what about the chocolate pie? Eh, yeah, it would have been up there with the chocolate pie. But um, if I could have eaten the chocolate pie, but I'm not surprised I couldn't eat the chocolate pie. But the beef tallow was an unpleasant surprise. Yeah, that was weird. It's like weird. Why, why would you? I don't know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mine's a mine's a tie between the was it cook cook cook. 
cooked ass, the cooked Cook, ass, cooked ass, cookie, and the peach gummies. They're awesome. And the peach gummies. They were really good. Lucas? They are really good. Mm -hmm. Which way are you going on this? I gotta give it to the peach gummies. The peach gummies. Surprise win. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Delicious. Yeah. Well, that was pretty exciting. Yeah, we're it was back really in nice. it. We're back in yeah. it. It's nice. All right, I don't know why well, it takes us so long to record these silly little videos. Thank you guys for watching so much. Wait, and... wait. Like and subscribe. Smash that bell. Leave a comment. Um, See you next time on Lucas Young. Bye, everybody. Call to action.